Casey and this is going to be part two of my IMATS type of haul. This one is actual stuff that I bought while I was in LA or at IMATS. I didn't buy too much stuff at the show just because it was so insane. Like the lines were crazy long. I got to some things that I needed to get and then there were some things that I was just like, you know what? The line is a little bit too crazy. The line for Makeup Forever was probably an hour long. I don't even know if that's right. I just saw it and I was like, not doing it. So this is just stuff that I got from various stores while I was in LA or shortly after LA, like right as soon as I got home. So I'm just going to start with the stuff that I got from IMAT so that you guys can see that and then move on to the stuff that I got related to IMAT but not before, if that makes sense. Okay, so starting off, when I got to IMAT, the when I picked up my press pass, they gave us this little goodie bag. And it was from the brand Bellocchio. Not quite sure. It's just a little makeup case. And you open it up, and it has the Flawless Airbrush Makeup. Don't really know what that is. It has a DVD introduction to airbrush makeup. Another thing that talks about airbrush makeup. And a pin. So, that was nice of them. Not quite sure what it is, but the next thing that I got, I got, and I kind of don't know why, but when I got there, I was like, I need to get a Z palette. I don't know why, because I don't really use, like, a MAC palette or anything, so I don't know why I would feel the need to get a Z palette, but I figure I'll put my single eyeshadows, I'll try to depot them and put them in this, just because it's a very easy thing to take when you travel. My sister decides to turn the vacuum. Don't ask me why. Hopefully you won't be able to hear that, and if you do, I'm very sorry. But I got a Z palette, and this is just, I think, the medium-sized one, because I didn't need a really big one, but I didn't want to get one that wouldn't hold anything. And so it has the little magnet things, and then you just place them in here, close it up, and it... I thought that the plastic casing on the front was going to be kind of flimsier, and I was like, eh. But then when I felt it, it's a very strong plastic, so it'll be good for travel. And then the one place that I went to that I wasn't planning on getting at all, but I was like, eh, why not, is Stila. The first thing that I got is something that I have a ton of very similar products and decided to get another one. Why not? And it is the Stila Smudge Crayon in Kitten, and it is just their average, like, the just the common champagne color, which you guys know I love. I was like, why not? And I think it was around $12, so I thought that was a great deal. And then the next thing that I got, I meant to get my eyeliner, but... They gave me the wrong thing, but it's okay because I actually think I might like this also. And it is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and it is in Stingray, and that's their black color, I guess. Okay, and then moving on to IMATS related products that I got, I went to the Sigma dinner, and that was so much fun. I got to see a ton of gurus that I like to watch, and I was too scared to talk to them, but... That was still fun. And I got to talk to a lot of my friends and got to meet Miss Jen Fabulous, which was fun. And I got to talk to Tracy and Steph and Carissa or Saturday Night's Alright. In July, they're going to be launching their brow design kit. And so they gave it to us to kind of test out and see and get the pre-look at. And it was kind of their launch party for that. So that was fun. And it looks like this. And it's in a box. I've already used it, but I repackaged it. And so they've got some informational guides in the front. And here is the actual little thing inside of a sleeve. But it looks the same on here. And it's got an eyebrow that's pink and shiny. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. And so it's got scissors for trimming your eyebrows, which I actually like to do to kind of keep them a little bit more shapely. And a pair of tweezers, which is good because I cannot find my good ones. And templates to kind of put over your eyebrows. I've never tried it before, but I have to try it out. And then it has a highlighting pencil with a matte side and a shimmery side, a eyebrow pencil with a medium and a dark shade, medium and dark, five different eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, but eyebrow shades for filling in your eyebrows, and a pencil sharpener to sharpen the pencils. And then it has a clear gel and a tinted gel. Sorry, I have this thing on there, which is giving a weird shine. There you go. And then it has one like a brush that has a side with a spoolie on it and one side with an angled pencil. Or not angled pencil, an angled brush. So it's very convenient to have it all in this little set. Okay, so moving on to the stuff that I got, not like at IMATS, but kind of related to IMATS. So I was invited to the Sigma dinner on the Saturday, and it was that Saturday night, and they're like, um, like, 
you have a dress or heels or something, and I didn't, but I was like, I can go shopping. So me, Megan, Caitlin, and Sarah went to DSW and Urban Outfitters, and I got a dress from Urban Outfitters, and I really like the dress. I've been looking for like a peplum style dress, but I was like, what am I ever going to wear like a fancy dress? But I had an event to wear it too. So it is just this black dress, and it has kind of a piping along the inner part of your chest and sweetheart neckline which you guys can tell I love and it has elastic on the backing so it stretches a little bit and then moving back to the front it's kind of I don't know if you can see it because it's like black but it's kind of banded right there and then it has the peplum style there and then it is a little bit long like it goes to right above your knees which is a great kind of modest style dress and it is a little bit fitted but not too fitted and then it's got a zipper in the back, and it's, um, I don't know what fabric it is, but it's kind of a wrinkly type, gets wrinkly, and it feels really kind of cool. I don't quite know how to describe it, but you guys could probably see it in my Outfit of the Day video. I just had pictures because I forgot to film for that. It's just a really simple little black dress, which every girl needs. And then, like I said, I didn't have any heels, so we went to DSW, which is across from the convention center, and I looked at all the heels, and I was like, mm, I like these, kind of. And I put them on, and okay, first of all, I was wearing my jean shorts and shirt that was I wore on Saturday. You could see it in my outfit of the day videos. So that kind of, I was like looking at it, and like, are these kind of like stripper heels? Like, But I think it was mainly the outfit, and they kind of... They're a little bit of stripper heels. They're just plain black patent leather pumps from Steve Madden. They have a little bit of a platform because I like my heels to be really high. And then it's got a T-strap in the front which kind of gives a Mary Jane-esque feel. And I don't know. They might be stripper heels. We don't know. But they looked really cute with the dress and just kind of gave a little bit of an edge to a very kind of more classy dress, I guess. And I don't know. I liked them. And they were on sale. I think they were around $60 or so, which is very, like, discounted for Steve Madden, which are normally upwards to $130 or so, so they were around half off, which, who doesn't love half off things? Okay, so next is actually two different times that I bought. Once was before IMATS and once was right after IMATS. So, you guys are going to probably think it's silly. Okay, so first, when we got into Pasadena, there is a Sephora there, so I went there because I didn't bring a perfume and I needed to have some sort of thing so that I'd smell decent. So I got the Vera Wang Love Struck Rollerball. I really like the smell of it. I'm looking into getting a perfume, but I wanted to get the Rollerball just to see how it reacted with my skin, and I actually really like it. It's a little bit more mature than what other perfumes that I have are, but I like it, and it's nice. And then I saw... Okay. First of all, I shouldn't be buying any more nail polish because I kind of ran out of room where I store it. But I've been looking for this one and I saw it and I was like, I need it. I will find space for it. And so it is the NARS Thakun, Thakun, I don't know how to pronounce it, in Kutki. Once again, don't know how to pronounce it. I saw swatches of this and was like, oh my gosh, I love that color. So it is a kind of light blue color, very similar to Barden Blue, but a little bit more blue toned as opposed to white toned so I love it when I saw that they had it in stock I was like it's meant to be I know it. and then when I got I think I don't know when it was sometime during the IMAX weekend or right after I don't know it's all a blur so I had to pick up some of my essentials and you're probably gonna look at the brands that I bought and be like Casey why did you pay full price for these when you could have gotten them at IMAX I know I was kicking myself in the butt paying full price for them when I could have gotten them at IMAX but the lines for these places were so incredibly long, it would have been insane to try to get them. So I was just like, you know what, I need them, they're products that I'm, I know I'm going to use, so why not YOLO? Not really, because I don't want to pay full price for them, but I did. And the first thing that I got is my eyeliner, and it is the Makeup Forever Aqua Liner, and this is just a liquid eyeliner. Like I said, Steel, it didn't give me the liner that I needed, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go back to this one because I liked it more anyways. And it is just their Aqua Liner in number 13, which is their Jet Black one. And then if you saw my What's in My Travel Makeup Bag, if, I don't know when I'm posting that one or this, but you would know that my Perversion Eyeliner is itty bitty, and I can't sharpen it anymore because it is so small. And so I decided to get another one, and it is just their Jet Black Liner, and I apply that on my tight line. And then I am a Sephora points hoarder. I'm going to be the first one to say it. Whenever I buy stuff, I'm, and they're like, oh, do you want to use some of your points? I'm like, no, save them. 
what am I saying before? I don't know. But they had this 500 point perk, and like I said, I don't know if I said it in this video or in my last video, but I'm going on vacation to Hawaii, so I need a travel size of my face wash. So I picked up this, and it has a mini purity, a mini eyes wrinkle remover or some, and a mini moisturizer. So it'll be great for traveling. I just got it for the mini purity because that's around $10, so I figured why not spend none and use my points. So that is what I got from Sephora. Okay, so moving on to stuff that I bought, we left IMATS and went to a few different shopping centers just to kill time before we had to make our plane ride. So we went to Nordstrom Rack and I got a few things from there. Okay, so like I said, sorry I had to delete stuff off my camera. I went to Nordstrom Rack and I picked up a few things. The first thing that I got is kind of weird to get from Nordstrom Rack, but it was on sale, or really discounted, and it is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is just the original one. It was $8.97, and I figured, you know what, I love this, why not pick up another one? And I'm going to just save this until I run out my one that I'm using now. Okay, so if you guys know me, I tend to buy the same thing in multiple different colors, so of course I had to do that on this trip, and I picked up maxi skirts. I don't quite know how I'm going to wear them, but I figure I'll wear them in Hawaii over a bathing suit or something, and I just got, they're all the same, um, first one is in gray, it's just a plain maxi skirt in kind of a, I guess, cotton material, I don't know, I got that same thing in navy blue, and raspberry, and then I got one that is very similar, but it is a high-low hemline skirt, so it's kind of cut shorter in the front and longer in the back, party in the front, business in the back, just saying, and it is striped, and it has straight across horizontal stripes going in the front, and then diagonal stripes on the side, which kind of go to a V on the corner. So it's very flattering and slimming, I guess, kind of, as much as you can for a big maxi skirt. Also in that center, they had an Ulta, as you can see. And I just picked up one thing, and like I said before, I don't need to be buying any more nail polish. But I have been looking for Essie's Fiji for the longest time because it is a really close dupe for Better London's Teddy Girl, which is one of my favorite ones. But I, I hate buying a $14 nail polish. I don't, I'm not going to use it very, well actually those ones I do, but I wanted to get one that was a dupe, and this one I absolutely love. I have it on my nails right now, can't really see that much, but it's just a plain kind of light pink color, and I found it at the Ulta, so I was like, you know what, it's meant to be. Okay, so the next place that I went to was Nordstrom, again, I know I talked about it in my first haul, but I went back after IMATS, and I got two scarves, because I love scarves now, and so the first one that I got is just this one, it's all wrapped up. And this is from the brand D&Y, and it has a kind of floral pattern, and then on the edges, it has a nice kind of yellow pattern, or color. So I think it'll be very cute, and once again, a great transition piece between spring and summer, or summer and fall, and all that sort of stuff. And then I got this one, which is a little bit more of a transitional summer to fall piece, and it's a kind of muted floral pattern. But I think it'll also be great in the summertime if it's a little bit chillier, and it's just one of those, like, spring scarves. And then finally, when I got home from IMAX, I was happy to see a package on my doorstep, and I had made a purchase at Victoria's Secret the week before because they were having great sales. And I am addicted to the Victoria's Secret bathing suits. The first one that I got is one that I've been looking at for so long, and I was like, you know what, I don't want to spend $40 on just a top. And it got marked down to $20, so of course when something goes on sale, Casey has to get it. And it's just this really cute bikini, and it has a kind of white and gold little center detailing. And it is a paisley print with the background being white, and then it has orange and pink and yellow and turquoise and all sorts of stuff. And then it has an orange band on the bottom with, once again, more paisley detailing. And it's just a really pretty bathing suit, and I think it'll look great with a tan. And I just, I love it. So I got that. And then I got another bathing suit, and this is one that I've been looking at for a while, but I was like, you know what? Green isn't really my color, but I kept on looking at the full, like, top and bottom piece, and I was like, it's really cute. So I got this, and this is the, I think, Maldive Dot Bell Bandeau, and it looks like this, and it's kind of a green tealy color with dots on it, which I'm not a big polka dot fan or a striped fan, but I like this bathing suit. And it has a really cute striped bow in the middle. Ah. 
and it comes with striped straps so you can not have it strapless if you don't want your bathing suit to fall down. And then the bottoms that match with it were these striped ones which I think looks adorable having the dots and stripes and kind of mixing and matching that sort of thing and it's just the same one and it just looks like that. And then finally I got just a few basic pieces from Victoria's Secret Pink because they were I think it was two for $28 or something. And so the first one that I got is just this white racer back tank. I got the same thing in gray. Then I got, I've been looking at these for a while, but I was like, mm, will it look good on me? And I just decided to go for it and try. And it is just the crop tops and they're very, very large. So they kind of just hang and it's not so much of a crop top where your belly button's showing, but just a kind of loose hanging shirt. And it is very boxy, which I kind of like. And it's just plain white. And then once again, those were two for 28 so I had to get another one. And this is a neon coral color. I don't know if it's going to show up as neon. You can kind of see the difference between the neon pink and neon coral. So I really like it, and I think it's super cute and will look great with a tan. So that finishes off my IMAX hauls. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure you saw part one, which was stuff that I bought before IMAX. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later.